those dark times had us praying for some brighter days wishing well but i'm really hoping for a change yeah you are watching change makers i'm eric alvarez here as always with ashley holt ashley excited about this next guest i am okay so we're talking to powerful women this month who are just pushing the envelope for the experience of being a woman in our world so we are joined by ajazi gardner today she's a fitness influencer full disclosure uh, I was just telling her she was my unofficial fitness trainer during the pandemic via Instagram, posting her workouts on social media. And so we want to talk to you today just about body positivity and the conversation about how it's changed for girls nowadays in 2023. You went through an interesting journey at Jazzy where in 2020, correct me if I'm wrong, you decided I'm not going to measure my waist anymore i'm not gonna work out for looks i'm only gonna do it for my health so 2020 was the year of total transition and transformation for me i feel like i grew more in 2020 than i ever have in my whole life and it has nothing to do with fitness but also has everything to do with fitness that's kind of weird what what sparked that for you so initially starting my fitness journey back in college, like 2014, 2015, I was more so prioritizing, like not gaining the freshman 15 and that more like fitness diet culture realm of social media. And a lot of the content creators that I was following at the time were more petite white women and they were doing like bikini competitions and in the bodybuilding space. And I'm so grateful that my journey has led me to where I am today, but it was rooted not in body positivity and loving my curves and loving my body and wanting to treat it the way that it deserves to be treated, but more so just wanting to be smaller. And I'm kind of in this space of like transitioning because I think language is huge in social media. So I feel like fitness is often associated with solely physique goals and measurements and your weight on the scale and just goals that are rooted in aesthetics versus like how your body feels and how you treat your body. So I'm more so trying to navigate being in the wellness space. Uh, Ajazi, I wanted to ask you with that in mind, uh, did, was, was there a specific moment you think in which you, from one day to the next, you, you felt better, you felt happier because wellness, health, physical fitness, mental health, it's really a journey. Uh, so was it, was it more gradual for you? Cause we really want the people who are viewing this and listening to to manage their expectations is right. it is it gradual or is it like just all of a sudden one day you're like i feel great i feel like it is 100 percent gradual i feel like i started feeling better when i started making choices that made me feel good so navigating that transition and i feel like a lot of it predominantly happened during the height of blm where i found this community of black women that supported me on social media that I didn't know was necessarily there. Like I knew I served as someone in the fitness community, but I didn't just quite realize how important my relationship with my body and just the representation that I had on social media at the time served for so many women that made me feel confident in my skin to, to actually put on some weight and like to love my natural curves. and. I'm like getting like goosebumps because it was like such a huge transition in my journey to not feel like because I got so petite and so lean by being influenced by more petite white women that I was following that the thicker I get and the more I love my curves, the more I'm helping like women of color and curvier women feel good in their own skin. Let's talk about that because I think about Eric as a girl dad. So I, I wonder like, you are learning these things that in your adult life how do we change conversations for young girls that are eric's daughter's age so that they don't have to be a full adult when they realize that their body can look however it looks and it's fine and it, and it doesn't have to be like body positivity that most of us are it's easier for us to give to other people than it is for us to receive for ourselves no absolutely and i feel like the inclusivity and diversity of just society now will help so much because I know if I was able to have access to not only creators in social media like similar to myself like if I had a me when I was in high school I would know that I can work on my goals and also see my body change and like like the progress versus like trying to reach goals that I wasn't seeing at all or comparing my body to women who I will never look like based off just my genetics alone so I feel like 
for our younger generations, they're are they are already exposed to a lot of inclusivity, and I think that'll make such a big difference. So, Ajazi, I think that's that's a wonderful message uh, for the next generation. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to ask you, what would your message be to the people out there who have lived their lives already, maybe you know, fifteen, twenty, thirty, forty years? People mm-hmm. who are a little bit older, who have uh, kind of internalized that negative self-image. Yeah. Uh, certainly, they could. Um, you know, if if they're interested in, in in changing that mindset, what would you what would you say to them? Self love and self confidence, and even just wellness and health, feels like a conscious choice every day. We can tell ourselves that we are more than just our body, are are more than just you know a physical feature. That you can really just prioritize loving yourself wholeheartedly and unconditionally, and knowing that. You are more than just your body. Jazzy Gardner, I want to thank you so much, first of all, for being willing to share your journey on social media. Definitely relieved a lot of pressure for me because I'm nobody's bodybuilder. I never (laughs) thought that I would be. I'm self-aware enough to know that. (laughs) But hearing someone like yourself who does know how to work out and cut calories and do everything and look amazing say, you know what, I'm going to do it for me now. It, It really, really was a big deal for me and a lot of people on social media. So thank you for coming here and taking the time to discuss how much of a change maker you are. Absolutely. Thank you so much.